Now we're going to knit, uh, we're going to bring this, increase the back bed stitch, uh, back bed only for stitch size five and a four. So that's three clicks. One, two, three. That gives us five and a quarter stitch size. We're still at three and three quarters on the front bed and we're going to knit one row. Now that gives us on the back bed open loops. So all these loops here on the very back bed are open. And all of them on the front bed knitted off. So what we're going to do is we're going to break the yarn and we're going to put in waist yarn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer it over. I'm going to tie them together. And I'm going to use my yellow tool, the latch hook part, and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to grab that yarn and pull it through and I'm going to just hold on to it. Now, my front bed I want on in and my back bed I do not want knitting and uh, they will tell you to use GX. If you have a needle up, GX will crash that needle and break it. So if I'm not using any pushers, which we've not used pushers throughout this whole thing, I like to put it on BX instead of GX. That's an extra little extra hint that it takes years to learn. Because if you're on BX and that needle's up, it will simply pick it up and put it back down. It will not knit it and it will not crash it and it will not break it. So I've got the front bed on end and I'm just bringing it across and I'm going to knit oh, about 15, 20 rows. Now my weight is holding it, so I'm fine. Otherwise, if I didn't have weights, I would want to be with the black strippers because I'm now knitting single beds. So I'm going to put those on for you. The weights let me get, weights let you get by with a lot of little things that without them you couldn't get by with. Now I'm going to, I've knitted a couple of rows, about five, ten, six, I don't know. I forgot to count, but I've knitted about five or six. Now I'm going to bring my needles up and I'm going to put them down on the back bed only. I'm wanting to free up all my stitches because I am strictly now knitting single bed, front bed only with the waist yarn. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in some more waist yarn. And I guess that's about good. And I'm going to break my waist yarn. And I'm going to hold it up and I'm going to knit it. I'm going to kind of try to knit it kind of in until I get it down. And I'm going to grab a hold. I've got my hand on the yarn on my um, mitt underneath. So I'm holding on to my knitting and I'm going to knit it off. And I'm going to break this yarn that I did. So what you see right now is we're going to take the weight off. We're going to take the cast on comb off. And we're going to kind of fluff it up. Let's see. So see, we got a nice fluffy. I don't know how well you can see. If you can see, we're going to bring in a close shot and see the, the fisherman rib and the front and the back, how it looks different on the front and the back and then you're in. Now here is where we have our waist yarn and you see these nice nice loops right here. Let me put it down. See we got we got a bunch of loops. So we're going to take our yellow latch hook and we're going to go sit on our couch and get comfy and turn on the TV and we're going to take and we're going to take and grab the first loop with our yellow tool and we're going to drop it behind the latch and we're going to pick up our, our second okay let me see if I can get that where y'all can see we're going to pick up our second stitch okay I did catch it now I'm trying to put my finger there so you can see now there's our, th there's our third stitch so we're going to grab that and bring it through we're going to go to the next one and you can kind of see your loop because see you can see that yarn going through that waist yarn 
And so we're just going to go across, and we're just going to go across until we've latch hooked every one of them. And this is a lot better than spending your time bending over the machine and having your back ache or your neck ache. So it's, so it's really, really simple to do it this way. So we're just trying to go across. Now, I belong to the Knit Netters Club in Austin, Texas. And uh, we call my nine-year-old granddaughter the Knitting Princess. She is our youngest member. And one of her most favorite things to do is to help me pull the waist yarn. She will watch me and, and get ready. And she's just waiting and just really wanting to get a hold of that waist yarn and just take it right out for me. And we kind of enjoy ourselves helping each other and, you know, um, so I, w I want to catch this last one. The last one can be a little tricky because it can get kind of tight. So catch that last loop. Okay, now I want to break my yarn here and break off that waist yarn. Now what I do is I take I take my, my yarn and I go behind the latch, over the latch, and bring it through. And that completes it. And then all we got to do is just grab up and just start tearing this out. Okay, and we just kind of tug it into place, and there we go. And now, if you, to sew it together, uh, one of the Knit Natter members is Diana Sullivan. She has several YouTubes out there under Diana Sullivan, and she shows you beautifully how to sew these things together. She shows you the different stitch size in a YouTube video. So I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. I'm just going to tell you to go to her site because it is fantastic. Now I want to show you the finished one. Now this is the finished um, dust mitt, and you can see how that goes. And I'm going to let y'all know that the Knitting Princess, who is nine years old, knitted this on the E6000. So if a nine-year-old can knit this, so can you.